Sherry McDonald Galbraith has been chosen as the recipient of the 2013 Volunteer Honors Award based upon her lifelong passionate volunteerism and multiple charities serving people living daily with illnesses and disability. Sherry's leadership and guidance as the founder and president of Saddle Up Foundation, dedicated to empowering individuals with special needs through equine assisted activities and therapies is truly inspiring. In addition, her volunteerism with charities such as the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Developmental Pathways, Cancer League, Firefly Autism, and Global Down Syndrome is an example to be modeled. Recipient of the 2013 Volunteers Honors Award, Sherry McDonald Galbraith. I do remember Ed from a long time ago. Right. <laughs> Pure and simple, I've been blessed. I've been blessed with a mother that, strong, strong, strong. She told, taught me to never give up, and I didn't. When I'm on a mission, you don't underestimate the power of a bear, right? <laughs> I've been blessed with a husband that loves me unconditionally, and for that, I will be forever grateful because he is the one who believed in me, and that's how I started Saddle Up Foundation. And then with a daughter, with a daughter that, well, she's just, she's wonderful and loving and kind, and she is the one who introduced me to a friend that, um, where I started Saddle Up Foundation. And this young girl was in a wheelchair, and we did the parades. Doug, you'll remember. <laughs> we lived in Cherry Hills Village, and we did the parades and the carnivals for Cherry Hills Village. And as I was um, putting um, our horses away, Emma introduced me to a, f a friend of hers that was in a wheelchair, and she rolled up to me and said, Miss Bear, can I ride one day? And I looked down at her, and I said, just give me a week, honey. And within the week, I kept my promise. And that was hands down the best thing I have ever done because I, I, was, I learned how difficult it is to deal with special needs and the families that want so much to give to their children who were born with disabilities. That I think the one thing, and Emma, I think you'll agree with this, is that when we met these families, the special needs students were so happy. It was amazing to me how happy they were and how much they just wanted to, to give back and to learn. And that, I think, is where we definitely wanted to just build. So I think then finding a staff and a board that could take my dreams and take it to the next level was important. But I have one thing that I've always said, and Adam, who is my, my executive director, I said, why compete when you can collaborate? So with other nonprofits, I wanted to build a, a nonprofit where all, non, all nonprofits could work together. So the why compete when you can collaborate is definitely a motto of ours, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, I want to thank IDA because we are so excited to partner with you and to build the IDA and to build the, uh, the partnership with all the different local nonprofits. So thank you so much for this award. I, I am very humbled and I am extremely grateful for your recognition, so thank you. <laughs> 